my brain. I've got a hunger burning inside me. Cannot be denied. I've got a feeling that the Father who made us, when He was kindling the pulse of my veins, He left a tiny spark of that fire smoldering inside. Spark of creation.
mind to respect my mind and at last you'd find you could love me again and I have turned my whole world upside down trying not to let you go watching you walk away is like a fatal blow what? When the one thing you 
want is the only thing out of your reach. I will tell where she sits by the hour, containing her hair. Blind and becoming, free and the honey, like her today. When you know she would go with you If there only were doors Agony Oh, the torture they teach Always ten steps behind Always ten feet below And she's just out of reach Agony That can cut like a knife
the next portion of our program will be brought to you by our orchestra. And those of you that are from Bennington know that unfortunately Mount Anthony does not have an orchestra or string program. We used to. We would love to get it back sometime. Um, and so Cedar Grove brought all of these string players and we have our one violinist from Mount Anthony, Noah. Wait to everyone. <laughs> so the orchestra is going to, they have four pieces I believe. So I think one might not be in the program, but uh, enjoy some string music that we don't get to have in our auditorium very often. And oh, by the way, this is Mr. Savino. He is the orchestra director from Cedar Grove High School. Thank you, Bob.
I dreamed last night, I got on that boat to heaven. In my song chance, I had brought my dice along, and there I stood. And I hollered, someone fade me, but the passengers they all cried from wrong. For the walls that sit out, sit out, you run the boat.
a split second. Jack's not gonna help us. He's not seeing the game. It's impossible. He was to be affected in anything on my laptop.
It's 1.30 already. It's morning. Yes, and what a lovely morning. <sighs>
management portion of the program. And I have to say that I am so thankful that a friend of mine, a, a gentleman whose children I taught in elementary school, um, has come to Mount Anthony to help us get through the rest of the school year with our band program. Um, he started on Monday. And I said, so, uh, Lyndon, um, I, we have this thing on Friday, this Friday, where like all these kids are gonna play all this stuff together. Right? Would you be okay with that? Sure, no problem, we got it, no problem. He spent all day with these kids, our, our MAU band kids, the Cedar Grove band kids, them with the orchestra. Um, it's so lovely to have him, and I am so fortunate to have him get, get, like I said, getting us through the end of the school year. Please welcome Lyndon Moores and the band.
So just so you understand what goes on with this exchange, um, with this first, with the first piece that the band played, that was a piece that Cedar Grove has been working on. They sent us the parts, our kids learned it, we played it together. The second piece was one that Mount Anthony has been working on, we sent the parts to Cedar Grove, they learned it and played it together. This piece also is an MAU piece. I'm pretty sure, string players, have you ever seen this before today? Okay, so these guys learned this piece in one or in one day, in one day. So we got all the, or the strings and the whole band together to play this last piece. And it's called Baba Yetu, and it's from Civilization 4 video game, if you're familiar. Enjoy.
Hi, I'm Jen Jessen. Um, I'm zero high school, and uh, I'm proud to be, hopefully, I'm still my best friend, <laughs> best friend of um, Lynn Sweet, and uh, also her husband Spencer back there at sound. Um, and uh, this, this number is uh, special. We did it first in Cedar Grove. Uh, it's sung by Ben Platt, and um, for any of you who have known about Dear Evan Hansen, I mean, he was the star of that, and then he did his own album, and I'm quite obsessed, and some of my students are too. And uh, he did this duet with Sarah Bareilles, and uh, Lynn and I were like thinking of something, what are we going to sing together? And then we kind of wanted to also incorporate a senior, and so at Cedar Grove, uh, it was Ian, um, that you probably saw up here on the stage left, and, uh, and then thought of Brandon. And uh, then uh, Mr. Bob Savino on guitar, a classical guitarist, our orchestra director, um, fell in love with the song too. So, hope you enjoy. Yeah. 
not just notes. This is rejoicing. We're singing to the Lord. You've got to remember that. First rule of singing.
can't even believe this. We're almost we're, we're at the end. <laughs> this so has flown by so quickly. Uh, before we do our last number, um, many people that I need to thank. I did not introduce everyone at the beginning. Of course, you met Jen, you met Lyndon. Um, Mr. Edwards, our middle school chorus teacher, please give him a round of applause. For Spencer Sweet. We have an incredible sound and stage crew running our lights and our sound and our, uh, our curtain and just all these things. These kids are so amazing. Sound and stage crew, thank you very much. We need to give out a huge thank you to my Mamba moms, dads, friends, and family, Mount Anthony Music and Performing Arts, and our Cedar Grove Parent Association called Music Matters. They are also what keeps us going and able to do these things. Thank you so much to those families there. And they did ask me to remind you that if you brought anything for our wonderful taco spread this evening, please be sure to pick up your pots and crock pots and bowls and dishes and things on your way home tonight. Um, am I forgetting anything? You love me? I love you too. <laughs> I tell my kids all the time that this whole thing, it's very selfish. It's really just because I want to hang out with her. And so we work it out that we get to do that during the school day and you know, turn it into a trip for both of us. So um, I will also say this, that our uh, music, uh, our evening of the arts is next Thursday. And that will start, it's actually 5.30, uh, beginning out the cafeteria with visual artwork and then some small group solo performances that will be happening out there. The band will be starting here in here at 7. My guitar class is going to perform. They're amazing. Come check them out. And then uh, the chorus will probably take the stage around 8 o'clock because it's kind of a, an evening of all sorts of things going on. So we hope you'll come back for that. Um, our last official number, wait, wait, um, is, uh, what is it called? Oh, it's called A Part of Us, Why We Tell the Story. And this is really why we do what we do. So thank you all for supporting us and your students and all of these faculty members. And enjoy our last number. And let's hear it for for Grammy Teacher of 2024. Yes. And you have amazing school district here today. It was lovely to see Mr. Payne today, right, also. Um, you guys, she says such nice things about me and Cedar Grove, and I can't say enough about her. And uh, she is not only my colleague, my best friend, but a mentor, and somebody I talk about. My students probably get sick of me talking about her all the time. But um, I, I think, too, the reason that we do this is to show how important music is in our schools and also friendship. And going. Daniel for 
his wife taught. A tree in which his children play. And one day, as day was young, the sound of the tree was shared. And the heart of the creature was a beautiful peasant girl looking around. The tree was strong. And the tree was a love. And she stands against the lightning and the thunder. And she shouts.
special number for our senior Katie Nemec. She chose it as one of our pieces for the spring concert, and we did it. We did it in Raise Your Voice in Cedar Grove, and she played it in Cedar Grove and stood and led it. Today, she's conducting it for the first time, and we're super proud. Of it. TV, your community media center. Viewable on Comcast channels 1075, 1085, and 1095. We are proud to be creating award-winning content right here on Main Street. We cover so many events in our communities, proving we are so much more than meeting coverage. Cat TV prides itself on covering important local events, keeping our focus hyper-local. Becoming a member of Cat TV is easy and starts at just $25 per year. We have a very talented crew ready to help you. And of course, a great board of directors. Cat TV also offers production services, underwriting, and sponsorships to help promote your business. We have the skills and knowledge to create high quality content for you. At our core, we are community media, and we know how important and vital our role in the community is. And the best way to support our mission is to become a member. Don't be shy, connect with us. And thank you for supporting Cat TV.